2023 is right by the corner. And we are here this morning to sample people's opinion about the three major candidates we have for presidential election, but articulate and obedient. Join me as I hear people's opinion and why do they prefer either of the three. Follow me, let's go. But Atiku and Obi, which one do you support, sir? Um, actually, the two of them, or we have many candidates in Nigeria to contest against 2023 election. So I cannot say Obi or Asuwaju or Atiku. So all, oh, everybody qualified to contest for Nigeria. But the person I know or in favor now to become a Nigeria next president is Asuwaju. So it's very clear. So no doubt about that. It's very, very clear, honestly. So I cannot, I cannot allow anybody to brush head myself because I can see what is going. You call Atiku or you call Tibu. I don't want to tell about anybody, but what I know, yeah, the unity of Nigeria is very, very, I'm sorry, uh, it's very, very important to me. So I want Aswadi to be, because all this person now, in place of market and all that, if Aswadi has mad the 2023 election, with God and with God, with God and God bless Nigeria. So Nigeria will come with new world. As of now, it's not easy to decide on any candidate because most of them are just bringing different political ideology, possible and impossible ideology, until January. It will too good to go. I have my reason. Obedience. I wouldn't say I belong to any one of them, but um, I have. I would some must I mean at least support one of those people you just mentioned. But I would who I would actually support is that, that of Tinobu because I believe in him. And I will use this medium, this opportunity again to at least, you know, to change the mindset of those that talk negative of this very uh very man I'm talking about, uh Tinobu. You know, he's he's not as if he's anxious or uh desperate to become the president. But if you are to look into it, him as a person, he deserves this at the moment. You said he deserves it at the moment. Why do you say so, sir? <laughs> nice question. I said that because, uh, my brother, um, we can all remember when he was once the governor of this very state. And um, if you were a citizen of Lagos, or probably were staying here in Lagos then, you will know his performance. What he did, I actually rebuilt this very Lagos of a, I mean, of a state. So you know, um, Nigeria as a country, as as of as of, as, of, as, of, as of now is at dilemma. If I if I'm not um, uh, say something wrong, and I see I can see that who, who can actually help help every Nigerian for this moment, my brother. If you want this Nigeria to be very great, we go for Tinubu. I'm not opposing Atiku or um, Obi or whatever. I'm not opposing any one of them. But you see, whosoever loves this country, whosoever loves this country, that actually wants it to be very great, to get to a greater level, will go for Tinubu. Tinubu is my man. He will do something better. Let's, let's support him. The reason why I'm obedient is very simple to me. And I'm sure it's very simple to every Nigerian. Okay. Because, I mean, you know, we, like I said, I said the other day, we tried PDP for 16 years. PDP failed us. We tried APC for eight years. APC became worst. In fact, APC is nothing to write home about. So I think let us try Labour Party. And who is Labour Party? Obedient. And that's why I'm obedient. Uh, as well as you, um, if you watch that 1999, let me just say about security matter. Now, that 1999, come to Lagos, and you experience Lagos before Asubadu become a Lagos State Governor in 1999. In a street, you see an armed robber writing letters to a street, and they will give get, um, dates of the date. Say, next two weeks, we are coming there to rob the, uh, uh, the street, and they will come. But after coming, after Asubadu become a president of um, Governor of Lagos State in 1999, all this, we are not experienced of that again. So everything, and the only way to say, so as why do you try to manage Lagos State in that of security now? You say, I will, I will. So I will not get time to, tip, uh, to rob again. So that's it. And the second one, you watch Nigerians and uh, uh, Lagos State and economy today. 
apart from Lagos, Lagos own Nigeria unity. So if Lagos collapse, um, so no more Nigeria, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to that. As why well, you try a law to own Lagos state and own Nigeria. And the second one, go and check the diary. It's never been any governor or state governor. Give me or no Lagos state a day governorship to rule. As why well, you lay it down and a lot more. So or no Lagos state in the day. So you give that as so um, you both benefit another another tribe um, uh, if, in your southwest. Every year is normally. And since I as why you left the country, first of all, continue, and but they continue, and this present uh, our governor, so will you continue the, so a day governors you can press it if I had the opportunity to be uh, to, to rule a day, I can say I'm a governor. So for a person to think in that way, so it's ahead of everybody. The three candidates, what are their manifestos in a summary before we can lay our back on any of them? You know, we are the electorate. We are the one that are casting the votes, if possibly. If our vote really counted, we are the one counting or rather voting. So we should know where we should be at this time. Or like before, when we just blindly follow whoever comes. This one will do it. 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 At the end of the day, you see how things are now. Is it better? Is there any desire change? There's no desire change. Is there any desire change? Hmm? Yeah. So this time around, the man here in Lagos, the one in Adamawa, the one in Enugu, they represent the three major tribes for now. So what is their manifesto that will really change the landscape of the country? What is their, anyway, they might have a good reason to come out. The one in Lagos keep on saying that you will fight uh, insecurity, you will better the economy. The one over there said you will, will unify Nigeria. That's an uh, article. We will make Nigeria better. Then this other one, deal with the youth. That the youth should come out. The youth should come out and uh, salvage the economy. They are the leaders of tomorrow. So, I don't know. As for me, I have my joker. I have my card behind. I will say, this is the man I will go for. It is when I start seeing what they are bringing. And uh, if I'm impressed, just as I was impressed seven years ago, I know I was impressed. But seven years after, I'm really not happy. Because virtually things are really disoriented. Things are not organized. And uh, there is this security. You cannot even travel out of the state. Even Lagos here. There are so much insecurity. Even local government to local government. We hear fights here. The other time they were fighting in Lawansi. They have to lock so many gates. I can't even go to church. I have to go and turn around. I can't even go to church with uh, my family. I have to go first. Then what is the security? I don't know what's the security of coming out that day. Is there any security? Is there any assurance that when you go out that day, you go and vote, they will not break bottle on your head or they will not push you with matches that day? Um, if you want to check the Noble Foundation from this from the onset of Lagos, of being a Lagos governor, the after him, it was uh, Fashola, and I believe he. He brought Fashola, and if he knew Fashola wouldn't perform, he wouldn't have actually brought him. And Fashola also did well, done his own time. Check all the governors. Is there anybody? Even so, at the moment, he's doing, he's doing well. So, you see, you should check that aspect. This very man we are talking about, if he eventually emerges as a president, my brother, Nigeria will be the next America. That's what I want to say. Obedient was the governor of Anambra State, and he did well. He did very, very, creditably, very, very well in Anambra State. He left so much money in Anambra State government coffers before he left the government. In terms of development, 
infrastructural development, Obedient did very, very well in Anambra State. And he's a very young man. He's an economist. He's a very, very young man that can move this country forward. So, I mean, I see, I see no reason why people should be against him. In fact, I don't see anybody who is against him anyway. So I am obedient, and I want him to rule this country. In fact, the three of them are not even my candidates. They, are, they don't have anything to offer until March, from now to March, when they, they start having a routine, and they are now buying people's confidence. But for now, there's lack of confidence to me. Obika, have you can go that mouth? See, in politics, you can talk like a lecturer. Something you have not done before. I can say, I can play football on the air without touching my head. Is it possible? It's not possible. So, all what Obi is talking, he's just saying so. He has not tested the power. Let me tell you, if you work in a company and you have a target to make, you don't, you don't have any facility, you don't have a car, you don't have anything to make that target to set that product. How can you meet up with someone that has facility or material? human resources to set the borders. So it's not possible. That's deep. So, so I wish Nigeria good luck. So 2023, I see why you have your vote. Really? If I'm dying, I will still call to God. Please, you give me life to go and post this man. Thank you very much, guys, for staying true. I hope you enjoy this wonderful episode. Please follow us on all our social media handles at Black TV, B L A C Q. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Black TV, B L A C Q. Till I come your way next time. Bye bye.